I'm Patty Behan and thank you for joining me in the studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint with Perfect Pearls. So let's get started. Okay, to begin, I have the colors of Perfect Pearls that I want to use. I have a brush and some water. And what I've done is I've embossed an image with white embossing powder. And the reason I embossed is because it'll hold the paint inside the lines a little bit better. And I'm working on just um, some distressed black heavy white cardstock. Okay, um, so to begin, I'm going to make my paint colors first. And before I open the jar, I tap it on the table so the dust falls into the jar. And I'm going to scoop out, I'm gonna use the, um, end of my brush here to scoop out some powder and then I'll just wipe that off. I'll add a couple of drops of water and then we'll go ahead and mix it up. I think I'm going to start painting because this is going to be the center of my flower and I'm just going to go ahead and paint. There's only like small little dots. So it's, I have a lot of extra paint here. I really didn't need that much. Moving on to the next color. We're gonna paint our flower with Grape Fizz. And again, I'm just putting some pearls onto the craft sheet. Adding a little bit of water. I'm making sure I mix it up. Okay, so now we have our purple, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of our colors. Next one I'm using is turquoise. I'm just gonna add a drop of water. And mix that up. And next is green patina. Add one drop of water and then mix it up till it's all dissolved. So now I think we're ready to paint. Let me just clean off my brush and we're going to zoom in here so that you can see this a little better. All right, so I'm going to start with the grape fizz. And I'll just paint in all the petals. And you can also do this with a stamped image if you're using um, a waterproof ink like um, our Rangers Archival ink. I just like, I like the look of the embossed image because it just gives it a little bit more dimension and it, it the Perfect Pearls resists the ink. So it makes it easy to paint with. And then I'm just trying to do this quickly for you here. And now I'm rinsing my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and paint my leaves. And That looks really pretty. And I could add another color of green to this, but I'm just gonna leave it the one color. I think that looks nice. I do maybe wanna add a little more purple to this spot that I missed. And now we just have to let this dry. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up with the heat tool. 
And I did use um, embossing here. So I don't, I'm going, I'm just going back and forth. So I don't like melt my embossing powder too much. It is quite wet. Now that this is dry, let me bring this up so that you can see how shiny and shimmery that is. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now I have my flower here. I put some foam tape on the back and I'm going to adhere it onto the card. Put it down the bottom there, like so. And then I put some more on the back of my sentiment. Put it down. Just like so. I think that looks good. And I'm going to hold it up one more time for you. And just to get show you that beautiful shimmer. All right, and now let me show you some more examples of what we done, we've done with Painting with Perfect Pearls. Here we have an embossed image and we painted in the flower and then just put an outline of painting like a shadow around there. And here's an example of one where it's not an embossed image, it's just stamped and then painted with the Perfect Pearls here. And you can also freehand paint with the Perfect Pearls. These roses and leaves were all freehand painted. And then here's just another one where the image was embossed and painted in. So I hope you give this a try and you have some ideas here. And if you'd like to learn more about Perfect Pearls and how to use them, don't forget to like and to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep watching.